Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about the round built-in in, in Python. And if you've either worked with this in Python 2 or, you know, are just now starting out with Python 3, the behavior of round might surprise you. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into it. I guess before we get started, uh, I'm going to start by showing you what round does in Python 2, and then we'll show what it does in Python 3, and I'll explain what's going on, why this changed, and uh, the rest of that. So anyway, let's start up Python 2, things that I usually don't want to do on this channel, but <laughs> for you guys. Uh, okay, so there's a round built-in function in both Python 2 and Python 3, and in Python 2, if you take a number like 1.5, and I think you just do this, yeah. So by default, it'll round to an integer, and you'll see that if you round 1.5, it goes to 2, and if you round 2.5, it goes to 3, and if you round 3.5, it goes to 4. Uh, and this is, you know, class classical rounding. Basically, this is the algorithm that they usually teach in school, partially because it's easier to explain to little kids, um, where at the half, it rounds up, and lower than the half, it rounds down. So if you had like 1.49, uh, you'll see that it rounds down. And uh, this is, you know, commonly referred to as classical rounding, and this is actually not how it rounds in Python 3. This is one of the many changes that occurred in Python 3. So if we fire up Python 3 over here and we run the same set of rounds, so round 1.5, you'll see that that rounds up to 2. Um, in fact, I think it actually returns an integer in this case uh, instead of a float. So if it's, if it's rounding to an integer, you'll get an integer as a result. That's another change to round. I forgot about that one. Uh, and if we look at 2.5, this is where things start to differ. You'll see that 2.5 actually rounds down to 2. And, you know, 3.5 rounds up to 4, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you'll note that 1.49 still rounds down to 1. So that's, you know, kind of the, the normal here. But this is kind of our, our biggest change here in that uh, at the half, it's going to round not up, but towards an even number. And uh, this is, you know, colloquially referred to as banker's rounding and, uh, you know, more commonly referred to as round to even. And the reason that this changed, and actually there's a there's a pep in which this changed, which is the a type hierarchy for numbers. It's kind of a little bit hidden away in this, but if you look at double under round, which is a new, um, you know, pro protocol for uh, number types, you'll see that uh, types may choose which direction to round half. For example, float rounds half toward even. So this is kind of where the change in that rounding algorithm occurred. Um, but the reason why you would want to prefer uh, rounding towards even is it tends to be more fair. Uh, the round half up actually you know, has a slight bias towards larger numbers, uh, whereas rounds toward even kind of 50-50 splits that. So that's why it was chosen to change. Now, sometimes you might want the Python 2 behavior in Python 3, and there's kind of a couple ways to approach that. Uh, one, <laughs> one kind of cheap way to do this, which is actually how I learned to do rounding in C++ way back when, before we had, you know, nice things, is you can actually do, um, you know, int of n plus 0.5. And so this will, this will again favor rounding upwards. Uh, so you can see if we did, you know, into 1.5, this is going to be 2. Into 2.5, this is going to be 3. Into 3.5, it's going to be 4. Um, so this this kind of works. It doesn't. It kind of falls apart with negative numbers, so it's not quite what I would suggest. Uh, there is a way in the decimal module to do this as well. I don't remember how to do it in the decimal module though, but um, I'm sure you can. So you know, actually, we can probably look it up. Python 3 decimal give you all of the information directly in this video. Uh, rounding, where is the rounding part? Here we go. So there's a uh, round ceiling, round down, round floor, round half down, round half even, round half up, round up, and round zero five. I think this is the same as round half up, uh, but an old alias for it. Um, but yeah, the, the classical rounding is this round half up algorithm, whereas the new rounding is round half even. There are other approaches to rounding. Um, you can see like, you know, floor and ceiling are, um, I guess, down, down and floor are the same thing. Uh, ceiling and uh, up are kind of your truncation rounding. Uh, I've not seen round half down. That's actually an interesting rounding approach, but you can pick whatever rounding you want here. And that way you can, you know, control what rounding algorithm 
you use. But anyway, hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.